Hello everyone, you're welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is k squared minus k to the power of 3. This is equal to 12. So what are the values of k? Now let's provide a solution from here. So we have k squared minus k to the power of 3. This is equal to 12. The first step is to take 12 on the left hand side so that now here we have k squared minus k to the power of 3 minus 12. This is equal to 0. Now this is k squared minus k to the power of 3 subtract 12 which you can express as minus 8 minus 4. This is equal to 0. So we have k to the power of 2 minus k to the power of 3 subtract 8 which you can express as 2 to the power of 3 minus 4 which you can express as 2 to the power of 2. This is equal to 0. Now we have k to the power of 2 and we have 2 to the power of 2 here. So we can write this as k to the power of 2 minus 2 to the power of 2. Then minus k to the power of 3 we have minus k to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3 this is equal to 0 so here we have k to the power of 2 minus 2 to the power of 2 subtract now we can express k to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3 into the parentheses here this is the same thing as k to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of 3 cross the parentheses this is equal to 0 so we have two parts here. We have two parts here. The first part is the difference of two perfect squares expressed as a squared minus b squared. The second part here, this, uh, su this is sum of two cubes. That is a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3. From the first part here, a squared minus b squared, this can be expressed as a plus b multiplying by a minus b. So this implies that k squared minus 2 squared, this is the same thing as k plus 2, multiplying by k minus 2. Let's call this question 1. Then we have the second part. It's the sum of two cubes expressed as a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3, which you can express as a plus b. Then we have here a squared minus ab plus b squared. So this implies that k to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of 3. This is the same thing as k plus 2. Then here we have k squared minus, this is 2k, then plus 2 squared, which is 4. Let's call this equation 2. So the next step is to combine this equation 1 and equation 2. So we have k plus 2 multiplied by k minus 2. Then subtract, here we have k plus 2 multiplied by, this is k squared minus 2k plus 4. This is equal to? zero so something else to note here is that k plus 2 is common we can factor out k plus 2 so that now into the parentheses here we have k minus 2 then subtract here we have k squared minus 2k plus 4 this is equal to, to 0. So now here we have k plus 2. Into the parentheses here, we have k minus 2. Now, minus times k squared, this is minus k squared. Minus times minus 2k, this is plus 2k. Then minus times plus 4, this becomes minus 4. This is equal to 0. So this is k plus 2. 
Now, here we have, we can rearrange this equation here. We have minus k squared, then k plus 2k, this is plus 3k, then minus 2 minus 4, this is minus 6, this is equal to 0. So now we have two parts here. The first part is k plus 2, this is equal to 0. And we have the second part here, this is minus k squared plus 3k subtract 6, this is equal to, to 0. From the first part here, we have that k1 is equal to minus 2. Now, the second part here, we can make this a quadratic equation. Let's divide both sides by minus 1. Minus k squared divided by minus 1, this is k squared, plus 3k divided by minus 1, this is minus 3k, then minus 6 divided by minus 1, this is plus 6, this is equal to 0. Now, from this quadratic equation, we have that a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 3, and that c is equal to 6. So we can solve for k2, comma k3, by applying the quadratic formula here, which is minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, everything here divided by 2 times a. Let's substitute the values of a, b, and c so that now here we have minus minus 3 plus or minus the square root of minus 3 squared, this is 9 then minus 4 times a, which is 1, then times c, which is 6. Everything here divided by 2 times 1. Now, the next step from here, minus times minus 3, this is 3, then plus or minus, we have the square root of, this is 9, minus 6 times 4, this is 24. Everything here, divided by 2. Now, the next step is that we have, this is 3, plus or minus, we have the square root of 9 minus 24, and this is minus 15, everything here, divided by 2. Now, here we have, this is 3, plus or minus, we can express the square root of minus 15 as 15 times minus 1, everything here divided by 2. So this means that this is 3 plus or minus the square root of minus 1, this is i, then square root of 15 divided by 2. So this means that k2, this is equal to 3 plus i square root of 15 divided by 2. And we have that k3, this is equal to 3 minus i square root of 15, everything here divided by 2. So these are two complex solutions. We have two complex solutions here. And only one real solution. We have k1, which is equal to minus 2. This is the only real solution to this algebra problem. So now the next step from here is to verify that this real solution here satisfies the equation. Now, if you recall, if you recall, we end that k squared minus k to the power of 3. This is supposed to give us a value of 12. Let's substitute k, which is minus 2. We have minus 2 raised to the power of 2 minus minus 2 raised to the power of 3. This should give us a value of 12. Minus 2 squared, this is 4. Then subtract minus 2 to the power of 3. This is minus 8. This should give us a value of 12. So here we have 4 minus times minus 8. This is plus 8. And this should give us a value of 12. 4 plus 8, this is 12, which is equal to 12. 
So this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this proves that the real solution here, which is minus 2, satisfies the equation. So this means we have three solutions, one real solution and two complex solutions. So thank you for watching. Kindly follow the steps. If you have alternative methods to solve this, kindly don't hesitate to showcase in the comment section. See you in the next video. Bye bye for now.